everyone, in today's video we are doing an unconventional portrait lens photo shoot challenge. So today I have the Samyang 24mm f3.5 tilt shift lens. So this is unconventional first of all because it's a tilt shift which is traditionally used for architecture photography and it's also a 24mm which is quite a wide focal length for portraits. So using tilt shifts for portrait photography was all the rage a few years ago with wedding photography and then it kind of died out. I think because it is quite a time consuming process to get a good photo and this is also a very big and heavy lens to take with you all day just to be able to get a couple of photos uh, with that tilt shift effect. So today I'm going to be shooting with the lens tilted pretty much the entire time to get the full effect of the bokeh in the top and the bottom of the image. And then I'll try and do a few more with it slightly less tilted towards the end so we can see the difference if it's a bit more of a subtle effect. So this photo shoot is just for myself. It's just a reminder that you can have fun with photography and do unconventional things every once in a while. You never know what kind of results you're gonna get so I'm very excited to start shooting with this lens. We have our model Katya today, Lydia has done hair and makeup, and Dan is filming the behind the scenes. Okay, so I think we'll start just here with the rocks. Yeah, that looks really cool, I love that. For this photo shoot, I asked Katya to do big movements with her arms and to go for a more creative and moody vibe with her posing. And can I get you to take a step forward as well? Since I'm shooting with a 24 millimeter, it's a very wide focal length for portraits. So I wanted her movement to fill the frame as much as possible. Even like a hunching over kind of thing would look nice. This spot here is really cool as well. Since I had my camera connected to the camera's screen recorder so you guys can see what I'm shooting, I couldn't zoom in to check focus as this is a manual focus lens. Oh, that's so cool, I like that. I ended up just taking lots more photos than usual while moving the focus ring to make sure I had a few sharp ones on Katya's face. And did you wanna sit on the leany bit as well. Okay, I'm gonna try and get a bit more of a close-up on this one. Close your eyes if the wind gets too much at any point. Ah! Okay, <laughs> stop for a second. I think maybe let's grab our stuff and we'll head up there. That way we won't get like flicked by the sand as much, I think. Can I get you to stand just here, please? Yeah, this is pretty. All right. Oh, that looks so nice there. I love that. I found that the lens tilted the whole way definitely looked more flattering in landscape rather than portrait. I took a few portrait orientation photos that I still liked, but I personally preferred the landscape ones a little bit more. Yeah, they keep landing on like my hands and stuff. Oh, that looks amazing right there. Oh, there's a fly. <laughs> I edited all these photos with my Mountains Lightroom preset, which is a pack of four presets. I've been using this one a lot lately because I love the muted colors, but also how contrasty it is at the same time and the black and white ones were edited with my ghosts preset. I'll leave links for both of these in the description for you. And then I also, I wanted to go kind of down there for one more shot as well. Yeah, that looks so pretty. Maybe if you have one leg up and the other one kind of hanging down. Rainy 
I was trying my best here to capture a close-up photo, but as you can see from the photo so far, the 24mm is not a great lens for portrait photography. While you can capture some cool photos, there is very little variation in what you can do with it. The majority of shots I captured were mid-length, as that's when it looked its best for portraits. Maybe if you sit with your feet down, and I'll stand up here, if you kind of look back at me, it would be a cool angle. Yeah, that's actually really cool. And can I get your profile as well? This here? Yeah, perfect. And then, did you also want to try if you put your hands, like, lean your weight kind of on your knees? Yeah. Oh my god, the flies are getting so bad. I'm so used to capturing extreme close-ups in my portrait photo shoots that I felt so weird having the model's face be so far away and small in my overall frame. And then can I also get you to stand here? I wanted to do like a kind of a wider shot so you're like really little in the frame. But again, that's part of the point of doing this unconventional lens challenge. I get to try a new style of photography and after I went through and edited the photos, I was actually really happy with how quite a few of them turned out. I think that's good. Ooh. So we just finished shooting with the tilt shift lens. I had such a fun photo shoot. It was really great being able to use such a strange lens that I haven't used in many years. And I'm really happy with the results as well. I feel like we got lots of really moody and creative photos. I'd love to know what you guys thought of all the images down in the comments. Let me know if you had any favorite photos from the day. Um, but as always, thank you so much for watching. I make new videos every single Wednesday. So I will see you guys all next time. Bye.